Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the SU-152 review, the Russian Tier 7 Tank Destroyer. Unlike its ugly toilet brother, this thing is actually good. My opinion is one of the best Tier 7 Tank Destroyers, it's actually one of the most troll Tier 7 Tank Destroyers, one of the most fun Tier 7 Tank Destroyers to play, because it's troll, because it has a derp gun, because it can one shot Tier 8 Tank Destroyers, that's why. So, if you're a man, there's only choice of one gun, which is the 152mm gun. You mostly shoot HE because you're a man, not a fucking camping faggot who shoots heat from derp guns. So I hope you are one of those people. Well, I hope you're not one of those people would be a better way to put it. Well, let's look at the armor real quick. So there's nothing on the lower plate, nothing on the upper plate. There's ricochets on here that can still like bounce into the armor. It can happen. And then there's Stalin right here. You can see this, this is Stalin, all of this. There's really troll spots on the gun mantlet. There's like 300 armor, 100 armor, just makes no sense. But yeah, it seems that on the left side of the gun mantlet there's not that much armor, but on the right side on the gun mantlet there's a shitload of armor. And below the gun there's a shitload of armor as well. So, don't shoot the gun mantlet and you should be fine. And yeah, that's more or less everything there is to say, that the sides are 60 and shit. So let's let's look at the replay. Tier end game, Redshire Encounter. Redshire Encounter better than Redshire regular when you are TD, because there's some good flanking you can do and you can protect your flanks pretty good, unless your entire team goes where I'm going now. This spot is not good when there's people camping, especially not in top tier tanks. Top tier tanks should be on the zero line fighting for the flank and should try to win that flank. Lower tier tanks and TDs that cannot stand on their own in this kind of matchmaking have to be here and snipe. As a, I said, tier 8 matchmaking, it doesn't really fucking matter. This TD can one shot the couple of actually tier 8 tank destroyers. It can one shot its own predecessor, the ISU. It can one shot the Rhyme Metal for sure. It can one shot the AC-48 as well if you roll lucky. So yeah, this is kind of troll. Unlike its ugly toilet brother, this TD can actually be played properly as well. You shoot once, you retreat, and you don't get shot in the face for it. Actually, you have six cents on this, so it's actually quite a bit easier to play. And the only lesson you should learn in this tank is trade shots one versus one. Do not get spotted in the middle of the open. Shoot one guy, retreat, and then reload, and you'll be fine. The games I would actually understand using heat in this tank is when you are top tier and you have to carry your heavy tanks because they're fucking idiots. Then when you, then I can understand you loading heat and shooting tanks with heat and so on. Other than that, heat I think is a cowardly way to play this tank. I think with the HE is so much more fun to play and the RNG you can get is just hilarious sometimes. As you saw mobility wise, this tank Top speed is pretty good, it doesn't accelerate particularly well, and it doesn't turn for shit either, but the straight line speed is pretty good, especially when you get it downhill and rolling, it's gonna be like 40, 50 almost, without no problems. So, let's talk about the gun. The gun is 152mm millimeters of troll, it fires heat ammo that used to be available on KV-2 as well, now it's not. The accuracy is 0.5, as clearly you will be able to see here, as... The bigger the number, the better the accuracy, obviously, because it's Russian. And the penetration of the HE is 86, which is alright. HE doesn't lose penetration over distance, so you can expect to pen most sides of the tanks, even up to tier 8. Tier 9 usually have better side armor than that. But uh, still, you can do quite a bit of damage if you get a tank flush in the side, like 400 damage you can be easily looking at. But uh, if you don't shoot HE with heat, then you get 250 penetration, which is really, really high for a for tier 7 tank destroyer with the derp gun, obviously. And the aiming time is 3.4 seconds. It actually doesn't feel that bad because the tank is rather slow, and most of the time you're kind of stationary as well. The gun traverse on this one is actually pretty good. You don't see yourself moving a lot. I wouldn't still recommend using binos with it because the... Um, Video range is 330, it's usually not even good enough to spot anything with binos. So don't bother with the binos and just uh, just play as a support because this is what this tank is good for. As you saw, 
shot from 300 meters into VK side, even 400 meters, into VK side, penetration 860 damage or whatever it was, it, this tank can be ridiculous. It is hilarious to play and when it works it's actually hilarious. But it doesn't work, it, it's still not that hard to do, like 1600, 1800 damage, where the fuck did this shell go? It looked like it went straight through this guy, it, I admit it was a badly aimed shot, but it should have hit his track, it, sh it hit his track, it just went through it. At least that's what I saw there, maybe you saw something different. But, 5100 is reloading, lucky me, and don't aim, don't give a shit, I'm Russian, I shoot almost on move, because dirt gun. This is how this tank works, and it is hilarious when it works. When you shoot HE, your average damage is 910. When you shoot uh, uh, Heat or AP, AP is the dumbest thing you can ever do in this tank, so don't. When you shoot AP, the average damage is 700. So with the Heat. 710 or 700, I don't even know. Well, it's less than with HE. And these t new t German TDs that I got introduced in the game is like your... Be biggest friend in this game because you can do this to them. This is a tier 9, no, tier 8 German TD. I penned him, I could have done up to 900 damage, up to 1000 damage. I could have one shot at him if he had a full health, but I didn't. And the next shot, like, I'm gunning, going for my top gun here, a Type 59 that was spotted here. Shouldn't have any problems killing him. And fuck you! This gun trolls you as much as your enemies at some points. But it is hilarious to play. It is funny to see how it, how people react to it as well. And when you shoot HE, you can't even feel too dirty about it. Kind of like a little Death Star Tier 7. Uh, kind of like the British Tier 10 Tank Destroyer a Tier 7 if you don't know what the Death Star is. So 88 left. I have to really try now to get my Top Gun. But he's too far away and probably going to be dead before I get there. So let's see if I can get in sight of him before the game ends and then maybe try to snapshot if he's still alive obviously. There he is, 480 meters, aim somewhat, still aiming and boom. Good thing skill securing this tank usually is quite easy, like 300 health you can take as granted when you shoot tanks, when you actually hit them obviously. So here's the end plate. Ace tanker, obviously 2215 experience earned, top gun, tank sniper and high caliber, 4661 4, damage done, 280 assisted, probably some tracking on, on the Tiger 2 or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you can actually see the potential that this tank has. It never, it usually doesn't work like this, but when it does, it is hilarious. The one shot on the 5100, I'm pretty sure that was just a ghost shell, but whatever. Uh, yeah, and as you see, T on the team list, nobody even did two. Other, nobody else even did two thousand damage on my team, and I did four point six in it. Tier seven tank destroyer in a tier eight game because why the fuck not? Before I forget, uh, crew skills, six sense, camo repair, smooth ride, snapshot, all the good stuff. Really, I shouldn't really mention the crew skills anymore. It's like you know what's good. Uh, equipment though, gun length drive, rammer obviously, and. Ventilation is probably the best setup for this kind of a TD. As I said, binos are not really worth it. And so isn't camo. Come on it. But yeah, SU-152 comes stock with this gun. You can research the 122 mils just so you don't have to do it on the ISU. And I fully recommend doing that. Then get the ISU and have fun with the ISU with the same gun. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you on the next one.